on the outside because black is how I feel on the inside. Wow. That's, that's, this is the way this Who is going to start. No, somebody said that. It was like Robert Smith or something. Like that. Well, that's going to be your pull quote from now on. There you go. They're going to be published pieces. I'm like, man, he's just so... Why is he so Have you down? seen our band lately? We're just down in the mouth. We just, you know, we're not smiling. We're just sort of, mm. we turn away from the audience. We don't engage with anyone and we've just given up basically. <laughs> we're just still going through the motions. You got to have the rock star image, you know? <laughs> or something. You have to have an image of some kind. Sure, sure. Any image will do. Uh, no, uh, your record right now is my favorite record. I say that to all the bands, but your record right now is my favorite record. Like, <laughs> like this particular 15 minute window of time? Yeah, no, it's a, thank you. It's, no, it seriously is. The, the, it blew me away. Um, I, ca I caught it. I had to catch up with you guys a few years ago. Yeah. Um, you know, admittedly, you know, it wasn't on the early, but uh, it, there is something about you guys' sound, the epicness that you guys strive for, mm -hmm. uh, and this big swelling sound that you've kind of been, you know, become known for, especially in the vocals. Uh, that's refreshing. It's different from you know what you're hearing out there, but um, but it, it does it lends itself just to stand out. You're what seven or eight albums in at this point? Well, I, I think of you know a lot of bands. We started back in 1999. Yeah. Um, which is now a long time ago. And we made a couple of what I think of as training records. Sure. A lot of bands at that point would have changed their name because mm -hmm. we changed the lineup quite a bit. But for whatever reason, we, we kept the name, partly yeah. just because I like the word and sure. I like the, the animal that, that it is. Mm -hmm. and, um, but I think of the first real Shearwater record being Palisanto, which is, I guess, four records back. Yeah. And then we did that trilogy of albums mm -hmm. for Matador. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is the, sort of the next chapter. Made all the mistakes. Yeah. Uh, is there a goal for the band at this point? Would you like to have the big, the big hit? I mean, uh, oh, I would love to. Yeah. I mean, like the, the, we're in a place that you kind of can't stay. Um, you, you either have to, sort of move up a little bit or, or retire. Right. Um, and I'm still not entirely without hope. Uh, and the new songs and the new records seem to have been really, reaching and connecting with people in a way that's been exciting to see. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'd, I'd love to. I mean, I mean, I'll never, you know, we toured with Coldplay once, that was hilarious. And I was like, well, this will never happen <laughs> But it was, you know, but you don't have to do that, you know. Sure. It's, it's uh, I'd, I'd be happy just knowing I could always get, you know, a few hundred people everywhere you go. Right. Well, I mean, uh, the album, the critics have been saying, they, they use all the critical words, it's more focused, it's more produced and everything. But was, that, was there any of that mindset going in, saying, yeah, we're ready for that next step, we would like to see that happen, and we need to do whatever it takes to do that? Yeah, but, but that sounds like we went to a marketing meeting and hashed it out. Sure. I mean, I, at the end of the last record, I mean, we, um, those last three records, we actually performed as a piece mm -hmm. at a show here in Austin mm -hmm. at Central Presbyterian. Have you been up there? I have. It's God, beautiful. That's an amazing mm -hmm. room. And it was a three-hour concert, totally sold out. Like mm -hmm. it was awesome. And at the end of it, I was like, "Okay, this chapter of the band ends here. This yeah. is the perfect place to stop." Right. And then, uh, if you look at like the cover of the last record, it's got this island off in the distance and this mm -hmm. figure going towards it. And that record kind of sounds like that to me. Like it's it's like an object contemplated from far away. Yeah. And I wanted to go exactly the opposite direction for this record. I wanted it to be more like the cover of this record, where you have this beast charging out sure. at you. Sure. And. Uh, so I wanted the rhythm section to be much more right up there with you, more uh, sort of tight and immediate. And uh, for the songwriting, rather than going about uh, going after things that I thought about or places that I'd been, I, I went more for my own emotional life and some things that went on in the last year or so that mm -hmm. kind of upended my whole life. And I thought, you know, not everybody can necessarily identify with um, visiting strange remote islands. But you know, everybody's had times in their lives and they're like, well, this isn't working. Right. Got to do something else. <laughs> You've just been pushed through a door or shoved off a cliff. And exploring that feeling of the times in your life when your blood is like closest to the surface, you know, when you feel most alive and your heart is racing, um, whether that's pleasant or terrifying, um, is what I wanted to get into with this record. Yeah. And, and it's what I wanted it to sound like and, and the shows to feel like. Is it, is it harder writing more personal like that? For me, it is. I mean, I tend to think that kind of confessional songwriting, for want of a better word, has been done very well and completely. Sure. Um, I don't but, feel like but, I have but, much. But what to hasn't add. been done well, completely? <laughs> well, it's it's everything hasn't been done completely. But <laughs> you know, I um, I just tend to think my own life isn't necessarily that interesting in some ways, or I mean, or like my own emotional life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on the other hand, you think that that's if you're going to make something more accessible, you try to find the parts of yourself that you have in common with the most people. Sure. 
um, rather than the things that are the weirdest about you. So, uh, and if you can tap into that, then uh, you know my hope is you can make something that's both accessible, but not calculated. Sure, it's not really lowest it's, common denominator. It's real, you know. Yeah, it's accessible, sure, but sure, it's real. Sure. I mean, there's that song that song "Insolence" on the record, which is probably my favorite one. Um, where at the end of it, um, the, I'm just singing over and over again, "It's real, it's real, mm -hmm. it's real," and. Uh, that's, when we play that song now, that's this completely cathartic moment. It's probably my favorite moment in the set. Um, it feels like it's, it really does feel like it's breaking through this, this barrier of Sure. Is it important to try to do something completely different? I mean, going back to the, you know, it's not all been done before. Do, do you like completely different from anything in the history of music ever, or? Well, that's hard to do. <laughs> We've been discussing it a lot this weekend, you know. It's like just the, the entire scope of pop music, of popular music and everything, and, and how, it, how it's continued and how it keeps going, and, and how artists are still trying to find new ways to do it, you know, original ways, or are you just trying to speak to a new generation who hasn't heard it yet, uh, you know? Well, I mean, it is funny when I think about the, the music that I truly love, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's mostly by people who are not alive and not, or not working now. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you can't ever do anyone else's thing better than them. Sure. But you c can do your own thing. Um, but how you find that is, it is kind of mysterious. For me, like you mentioned my voice, um, I have this very unrock voice. I, yeah. You know, sung in choirs as a child and, um, you know, any time I tried to make it into something more like a conventional rock voice, it just sounded silly. And so it's been a process over the last few years of trying to find a way to use it sure. that makes sense, that feels authentic. And, you know, every record I feel like I'm getting closer. I was happier with the vocals on this record than yeah. any of the other ones. It seems like a technique that's really, um, it's meant to project too. I mean, it, it stands yeah. out above, it would stand out above a, a room full of uh, drunk beer drinkers. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> I've played that room plenty of times. Yeah. You know, I'll do it again. Yeah. Uh, going back, so you did. You did the uh, you did the trilogy. Yeah, uh, and that was a clean slate. It kind of was at the end of that. Yeah. Um, so we, we were able to kind of reconfigure the band and start over with a different, uh, um, somewhat different lineup and a, a very different production approach. And I really, really labored over this record. Um, really sweated the details, and I worked with our producer Danny Rice, who's also playing drums for us now. Um, and we we're similarly obsessive people, so it was. It's a lot of my favorite records have been uh, very uh, have been really slaved over and, and perfected, but in a way that has somehow preserved this sort of organic musical life right. of the record. Like the danger with that approach is that you can just crush all the life out of it. Um, but I felt like we were able to stay on the side of um, of a living living thing. Like you know, it's still <laughs> sure. it didn't seem too uh, too mathematical or, or rigid by the time we were doing it. Yeah. So I mean, but you you have this a bit more of an aggressive aggressive sound than the past ones. Yeah, uh, and, and I like my electric guitar. <coughs> yeah. I mean, I I got back into I got a new amp and cranked it up and found that I really loved it and right. got back into playing electric guitar again. So when you bring the new band members in and you're in this kind of mood mm -hmm. and then you have that back catalog that I imagine you're are you still going to play some of those songs live or are you really just leaving those? We play a few of those songs, um, yeah. especially the ones that seem to fit in better with what okay. we're doing now. And there are some that, with the new lineup, I mean, you know, it's it's like it's very much a rock band right sure, now. It's sure. loud as fuck. Yeah. And it's uh, it's really kind of chaotic and exciting. People who've seen the band in the last couple of months, having seen us before, are like, wow, this is this is really different. different. Like, it's still you. Sure. Like, um, there, I expected there'd be some complaints, and of course there've been a few, but very few. Um, I think this sort of new life and energy that we've got right now is um, is going to. I don't know. It just feels like the winds are the winds at our backs. Yeah. yeah, well, that sounds great. Do you try to rewrite those old songs when you're playing them with this new set, or do they just work? I mean, you said you picked the ones that felt like it worked, but we've, with the new band, do you say, well, let's, what else can we do with this? We've rearranged some of them a little bit, but nothing yeah. drastic. Yeah. Um, uh, except, I guess that song Leviathan Bound. We've like on the on the record, it's a completely acoustic arrangement with like a, a string quartet and a dulcimer and. <laughs> And the piano and and this you know what we have is like feedback and sure. toms and sure. and erodes you know but uh, uh, you know mostly you know I find that those songs fit well within the set and it's always it's a nice sort of break from the way that the new songs are but the new songs have formed the bulk of the set and it's so exciting after you know a fair number of years of touring sure um, to have this whole new set of songs to to really be behind well I'm glad uh, we're all a part of it I'm thank you experiences with you. Uh, the, the record is fantastic. Thank you so much for, uh, for putting it out there and keeping going.